take a listen to Donald Trump on the it's campaign fine, trail there. Fine, I do. But you know what? What they put my family through is a disgrace, and they ought to be ashamed, and we should get apologies all over the place. So yesterday, I sent Pelosi a letter denouncing and condemning her party's outrageous abuse of power. That's what it is. They have nothing. They're the ones that should be impeached, every one of them. I mean, you got this guy Schiff. He makes up a statement, and he goes in front of Congress where he has immunity. And he makes up a statement from me that's totally fictitious, totally out of thin air, the worst statement I've ever heard. Many people saw it. I had a person two weeks ago who said, I didn't love the statement you made. I said, really, didn't you read the, you know, transcripts? I always say, read the transcript. But didn't you read it? No, no, I heard it on television. I watched Adam Schiff. He made it up. I, I then sent him the transcript. He said, oh, now I feel better. That's perfect. I call it perfect. He called it perfect. Everyone calls it, if you read it. But All right, let's bring thing. in Harry Horton he live from Washington, D.C., as we've just and been hearing the President Trump vindicating eight himself eight in this impeachment uh, proceedings. And, uh, Harry, uh, just get us an update of, uh, you know, where the two votes uh, stood in terms of both the articles to impeach President Donald Trump. And, uh, of course, they didn't manage to clear the hurdle, right? I mean, it was only 216 the number needed. Yeah, that's right. Both articles of impeachment uh, adopted by the House of Representatives as we expected. Also, as we expected, not a single Republican voting in favor of impeachment. Uh, interestingly, two Democrats uh, voted in, uh, against impeachment on the first article. Three Democrats decided to vote against impeachment uh, on that second article. So, you know, by and large, the vote falling uh, uh, on party lines, reflecting the bitter di uh, divisions that exist uh, in American society when it comes to impeachment as well. We've been talking about the latest poll uh, of public opinion on impeachment showing that 48 percent of Americans are in favor of it, 48 percent of Americans uh, are against it. So bitter, bitter divisions exposed, I think, uh, in this impeachment debate. Harry, thank you very much for getting us the latest out of Washington, D.C. as uh, we wrap up, of course, uh, the House of Representatives uh, vote to impeach President Donald Trump. And just uh, to uh, recap what has happened, it's, uh, the House of Reps congressman managed to clear that 216 vote hurdle to impeach uh, President Donald Trump. Uh, he will be the third president to be impeached and it moves now to the Senate next uh, January.